I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to Savage Gaming with me, Teddy. And for this video, I am live from the PDR server and we are testing game version 1.17.40 for this video. For this round of test, we are going to test four different categories. The first one will be the new buildings and reserve raid. The second one will be the optimization and your March interface. The third one will be the optimization for your battle report. And then the last but not the least will be the tutorial or the event for the 3D switch. So 2D to 3D switch. For me personally, I just wanted to do the, um, I wanted to stay in 2D, but I'm still going to do uh, the 3D uh, event so that I can get um, some stuff for that. All right. So Let's go first with the tutorial for 2D mode to 3D. So I already played it earlier, but once you click that, it will show you the settlement renovation. I'm just going to show you a little video snippet at the end or the bottom of this screen. And then once you switch to 3D now, you can find the 3D actually. Most of you already know where you can find it. You just go to your profile and then go to your settings and then game and then switch to your 3d mode or you can switch it off as a reminder guys that once you switch to 3d mode it will add it will require additional 200 mb or more of your storage either on your phone or your pc 3d mode will look like this um this is the interface collection talents stats and then let's see so basically the 3d mode just adding additional um have a load on your phone or your PC. So rest in peace for our phones and PC in the future if they keep adding all this stuff here. The 3D mode, once you activate that, this will also give you some of the rewards once you switch to 3D mode, uh, like an initial reward. And then after that, you it will direct you. And after that, it will direct you to this event. So activate the new graphics mode and complete daily tasks to get rewards and unlock next day's tasks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But then it says here from October 29 to November 18. So let's see how is this event going to work out. So every day you are going to complete daily tasks that pretty much like what you do with your daily task, like you speed ups, consume 100 stamina, donations, and other things. So pre-planning, and then you can pre-planning, you can get this for seven days of Thanksgiving each kiss scan. Second day will give you three hours speed up. Third day will give you 1,000 buy cups. Fourth day will give you the Golden Radiance uh, frame. Fifth will give you Legendary Hero Fragment. And then Total uh, Transformation will give you eight hour, uh, eight hours speed ups. And then the Mission Complete will be Brimming of Hope. But since you're going to see here from the October 29 to 11, 18, I'm not really sure what are the additional events for this one okay don't mind the pop-up on my facebook guys because i'm trying to sell my bike because we are moving out of vietnam very soon so don't mind about the increase there all right next one is the optimization for the march interface so let's see the march interface here they said that optimize the march interface by adding infantry rider hunter tab in the menu menu it is easier for players to tab and open the sub menu for each troop now so let's say we are going to send to this one so attack just remember guys that i am on a 3d mode so this is how the 3d mode looks like tab you're going to see the percentage here on the side you are going to drag this bar and how much you're going to add for your infantry rider and then um uh, hunter and then it will show you how many troops you have sent so technically if you just equalize it it will set you to a 60 20 20 setup so that is a 60% infantry, but I'm not really sure why it's 58 here. And then 20%, 20% for the hunter and rider. But basically how I set up is this. is like around 55 or 60 for my infantry, lower my rider, and then increase my hunter. So that's how I use it. And then for you to save your match interface, all you got to do is set up. You can change that, your heroes. And then you can also change your behemoth. You can also change your aircraft here. And then click that little thing to save. Confirm to confirm also to and so on and so forth. And it will just save all the setups that you do. 
All right. So the next one will be the optimization for the battle report. So the battle report will show like this now. So here is skills. It will show you kills, shielded, shielded, kills, heroes. It would be nice if we are going to do this with PvP, but the only time that I'm going to do this is once I we play the Reservoir Raid. So registration is today, and we are going to start having matches tomorrow. All right, so trips overview, and then collected, and then your stats at the bottom, and then battle, de battle details, and then what you do when you do your power up. So basically, that's how it looks like. Last but not the least that, they are, uh, that I'm going to show you here is the new building in the Reservoir Raid. So also the event interface of the three-day looks like this. So most of you already in PDR, so you have an idea on how it looks like. And then here, info, buildings. And now we have four supply buildings here. So at the end of the battle, points are settled based on the number of the remaining enemy marches. So always remember, guys, that the points that you're going to get from these buildings, 50% of the alliance points is always your personal score. So like I said, your personal score is a 50% of your alliance points. All right. So other than that, let's see. The rewards are still the same. And then see if they cleared the history. So basically the supply center, if you remember the video that I made about the power conditioner, this is pretty similar to that power conditioner. The power conditioner used to be two and now they made it like four. But I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. We were going to figure it out together, guys, once we are going to start fighting for the reservoir raid in... For a uh, for UTC tomorrow, I think, or more. Let's see. So registration countdown. So the change time. I'm not really sure what time they registered. See participants. I haven't added it yet. So we are going to play for UTC tomorrow. All right, so that's it for today, guys, and I'm going to update you once we are going to play the Reservoir Raid and other stuff from the PTR server. Hope you're going to have a good day, happy weekend, and have fun with your state versus state. Have a good day, guys. Bye.